Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. Game of Thrones episode 2 picks up right where the last episode left off. Spoilers ahead. The whole review is going to have some spoilers. Not of this episode, but of the last. Ethan, the newly appointed lord, has been slayed by none other than Remzi, that psycho bastard who just loves to torment and kill people. This left the house destroyed and left everybody in shambles. So, does this family, the Fosters, recover? Let's find out. Thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. The positives start off with the story. Once again, it remains pretty engaging, especially the second half. It starts off exciting, but ultimately, unfortunately, has some problems midway. However, we'll leave that to later. The end leaves you wanting more, and isn't that the most important thing in an episodic content type of game? Also, playing as Roderick is a boost, and you actually feel like the Lord of House this time. Getting to know what's at stake, and really, really engaging and intriguing scene close to the end of the game, and of course the final scene, really makes you feel for the Fosters and this family is really, actually pretty cool the more you get to know them. The action scenes are much better in this episode, and in the first 15 minutes, aren't only fun to watch, but they're really easy and actually cool to play. The best part is killing baddies and feeling like a badass, which isn't always so easy to do in an adventure game, and you feel that way in this game. You owe me one. The bad, of course, are the bugs. They are present, and sometimes hearing the lines repeat or skip or scenes freezing up and coming back three, four seconds later really takes you out of the game. The middle part of the game is also really at a snail's pace. It, uh, I just didn't give a fuck about Gerald, Garald, whatever his name is, in this episode, which is a shame because I really found him interesting in the first episode. While the opening and ending are a blast to go through, it's the middle part of this game that goes at a slug's pace and hurts the overall flow of the game. Strong. Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Episode 2 is a bridge to the future episodes, and while I had some great moments, it also felt weak as an overall package. I still think it's good, and it's a solid episode, but I expect to be enticed every episode, just like I am when watching Game of Thrones or reading the book, and I felt this wasn't quite up to par with other stuff that Telltale has released. So I'm going to give this title a 7 out of 10, and really hope Episode 3 picks it up. Fuck you, Ash. Asha! 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 Asha!